Hey, I'm Jamie Dixon with Guitarist Magazine. These days, if you're looking for a high-end uh, acoustic guitar with traditional looks and sounds, um, you're really sport for choice. Not only have Martin completely overhauled their standard series um, acoustic guitars, but you can also look elsewhere to find really beautiful sounding guitars in that increasingly competitive two to three thousand pound market. High-end guitars aimed at pro users or serious amateurs. And um, one place we would recommend you definitely look is into the catalogue of La Rive. This is a Canadian firm, originally made guitars up in Canada and now make them down in California. Um, and we've never picked up a bad one. And so we thought we'd show you two new ones uh, that have just come into Guitarist, um, which are just a little bit special in various ways. So, um, the two guitars I've got to show you both belong to La Rive's 44 series and what that is is um, primarily indicates that they've got a high gloss finish. Um, so these, these are based on guitars that La Rive make elsewhere in their range but with um, a more of a sort of semi-gloss or satin finish. These are got the old school full gloss finish and they, they, they look a million bucks. They, they really do look great and um, a lot of traditional acoustic guitar players will really dig uh, this kind of look on the guitar. So let's um, walk through what else you get on these 44 series acoustics. Okay, so the two guitars we've got to show you from the Rivo's 44 range are the one I've got in my hands here, which is the Triple O 44R, which is a 12 frets to the body, um, quite traditional Triple O uh, style guitar. And the other one is an OMV 44R. So the, v, the OMV um, designation means it's an OM style acoustic with a cutaway in the Rivo's um, parlance. And that's a 14th fret to the body um, acoustic guitar design. Uh, both guitars have 25.5 inch scale lengths. And um, I'll walk you through some of the features because the uh, tone woods are common to both. So first up, we've got Sitka Spruce Top, none more classic than that for an acoustic guitar, uh, for lovely composed, sweet trebles and well-defined notes. And an Indian rosewood back and sides. Again, paired with Sitka, it's so classic and you really will hear everything very clearly coming out of this guitar um, and very sweetly as well. Ebony fretboard, one piece mahogany neck. Around the edge, you've got this nice, um, what they call bold rope purfling, which is a little bit herringbone like, but it's the Rivo's own design. Got a uh, nice maple binding here, which is slightly figured. Um, no pickups on these guitars. They are special order guitars, so um, the idea is is that there is an upcharge for a pickup, but you you can choose which one, which system you personally prefer, and the Rive will fit it for you. And then um, just looking at some other features here, um, the nice diamond inlays on the uh, fretboard, are quite traditional, are quite redolent of old Martins actually. There's a slightly Martin tipping the hat to Martin going on here, definitely with these guitars. Um, over onto the OMV, um, you'll see that uh, the major difference is it has a cutaway. But as with this one, it's got the bold rope um, purfling and the um, same combination of tone woods, ebony fretboard, and so on and so forth. So not quite two peas out of the same pod, but um, there's definitely a bit of a vintage retro high-end thing going on here. So let's have a listen to them and uh, hear how they sound.
So Larive's 44 series acoustics, really nice guitars. Um, for sure they've got some stiff competition, but um, really enjoyed the time we spent with these instruments. Price-wise, as mentioned, they are up in that upper tier of, of what you might buy as a, as a sort of amateur player or, 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 or certainly in the professional niche of things as well. Um, the uh, 00044R is um, about £2,800 in the UK, whereas the OMV is uh, slightly over £3,000. So these aren't impulse purchases, um, but definitely if you're in the market for that keeper, that, um, that lifelong pro-grade acoustic guitar, I definitely recommend you check these out.